Okay, first you need to dim room light. This will help you to see the red reflex better and help you as well to maximize pupil size of your patient. You need to set an average of 66 cm distance away from your patient, which is approximately an arm length. This distance is called working distance, and we will speak about it in detail later on this course. If you are performing refraction on an adult, you can use either for optical lenses, trial frame with trial lens set, retinoscopy rack, or you can use those lenses in front of patient's eye. If you are doing retinoscopy for a child, especially infants, you may be only able to use those lenses or retinoscopy rack. Putting a trial frame in front of an infant's eye is not a good idea. Also, you will need to use a cycloplegic agent to stop accommodation in all young children. As we are doing static retinoscopy, not dynamic retinoscopy. In adults, if you are not using a cycloplegic drops, you will need to make sure that patient's accommodation is relaxed. You need to follow these steps to obtain this. First, if you are performing refraction on an eye, you should not put an occluder in front of the other eye. Then ask your patient to fixate on an unaccommodative distant target with the eye not being refracted. I prefer to use a small round light as a fixation target, as projector letters still can stimulate accommodation, even the bigger one. But you still can use the large letter if you don't have a small light source. For examining patient's right eye, you should use your right hand and your right eye, sitting to your patient's right hand side. And for the left eye, you need to be situated to your patient's left hand side, holding the retinoscope with your left hand and using your left eye. This allows your patient to look past your ear at the fixation target with the eye not being refracted to help in relaxing accommodation. And you need to ask your patient to tell you if you start to block his view to the fixation target. If you are using a cycloplegic drops, just ask your patient to look straight to your retinoscope light. And you can perform retinoscopy in both patient's eye using only your dominant hand, either right or left hand as we are not afraid from accommodation. While doing retinoscopy, you should adjust your setting to be close as much as you can to patient's visual axis, either vertically or horizontally. Performing retinoscopy of axes of more than 15 degrees may affect your final results. While using trial frame, try to make sure that it's well adjusted. To avoid any errors resulted from large back vertex distance or errors related to decentered lenses, such as prismatic effect. So always make sure that patient is looking through the center of the lens.